So this is just going to be another example solve video. I'll be scrambling white top green front and the scrambles are in the description. So this scramble, immediately I see this pair. So I would look at red and green. Uh, they're both pretty bad because to insert the edge would move this. Uh, so I look at green. Green's better. Green's a lot better actually. So what I'd see here is this piece is here this pair in the center, so then I'd move the center down here and then with an R wide and then U prime to pair it with this and that would bring this this uh, pair here and then here and then B would insert it and then from that this orange and green white and this orange green would move like this, they'd be here and then U would move them here and then the B would actually pair them. So then the rest of the solution for the first block would be U prime F prime and then I'm just gonna track this dr edge and from looking at it for a couple seconds it's just going to end up moving here and then down there so i'll go do that r u prime pairs the center and then we have this which pairs up and then i saw this was going to go here and then as i'm doing this f prime i'm looking for other pieces so i see this and this one but i also see these two so that's a lot nicer and i can pair them up with a few moves insert with this now we have that square, now just this pair right here, so M2, U prime. Okay, so these two match, and this one is opposite, so it's this case. Now these two are flipped, and these two are flipped, so M2. And I remember that the blue edge is here, green, blue, flip them like that. And then this is orange, so I'll remember that, this is orange too. And this is like one of the easy cases because yellow's on top and the bar that's solved is in the back, so just like that. Alright, here's the second scramble. Focus, there we go. Um, there isn't a free pair like there was in the last one, but that's okay. I'll probably find something decent. I hope. Uh, yeah, this is okay, I guess. No. Okay, so what I see here is that this blue is pretty hard to insert there. It's going to take two moves, so I probably wouldn't do blue on this scramble. Uh, red also would take two moves to insert. So the ones that take one move, it's just orange. It's a D2 to insert. So I do orange. So D2 to insert this here. And then this can be paired with this, with R prime F2. And then I can insert them here. And then this is going to move here and this is going to go here so that I can pair them in the back and insert with a B prime from all that this piece is just going to move here so I'll just do that D2 inserts the orange R prime F2 pairs up these two U prime R prime F like that and then just this pair so I drop the corner in the back like this put the edge beside it and then M prime U prime or that would be B prime, but I was just showing it from that angle, so it's easier to see. Uh, so I was watching this the whole time, and this actually paired up with this. So this is a really easy first square, just like this, paired up. And then this is a fast two gen case, just like that. And then, okay, so my camera just stopped recording for some reason. Uh, from here, I'd see it's a U case, so I'd do a U. And then these two match, these two are opposite, so it's this one, and it's not going to move any edges around, so I'll know what to do right after. And I can cancel. There's the arrow. These two are going to end up like this. This is red, this is orange, so it's U2. And then I see it's going to be a, a cycle case. And this, this is blue, this is blue, the bar, the block is in the back, so solve it like this scramble so we have the same pair that we had in the first scramble uh, the green red white there we go uh, so I'd look at green and red again red is a two move square so that's really nice but I always check out the other pair too uh, the other pair is really nice so I just do red right away I don't even want to look at anything else right now so this inserts with the center with a D prime like that and then this would insert here with F prime and then this is the other corner and this is the other edge uh, the F prime wouldn't do anything to this, so the only move that it would affect it was the D prime, and then it would just move from the back to here. This wouldn't move at all, so then I could bring this 
it's going to be red on bottom. I can bring it up, pair it with this, put it in the back, and then I'm going to track this. It's just going to end up right here. So D prime, F prime, and this was here. U M prime, insert like this. So I was wrong. This isn't here, it's here instead, but I would have been looking at it anyway. So I would have seen that. R2 to bring it up. I see this pair, but I wouldn't usually solve it right away. I just split it up like this. Match them back. This green, orange, and this one. So I'd flip it on top to get orange. M prime, orient centers. Now this, the H case, and I know I'm still going to have an arrow. So this is going to go here, and this red one's going to go to the back. Like this. This is blue, this is blue, so it's M prime. Um, this green is connected to the center. Uh, there's this line on blue, so, I mean, red, that's not blue. Uh, but there's not much else. This would be hard to insert there. This would be pretty bad too. So, I'd look at blue, green, and orange. Uh, the pieces for orange are pretty bad because this is connected and it's messed up. So I'd do either green or blue. Uh, looking at green, we have this corner and this edge. And that and that, so that's pretty bad too. What about red? I mean blue. Blue's pretty good. So this would insert here with a D2. And then swing these two around to the back, and they would look exactly like this. So then I can bring the edge from here to here with an M prime, and then it would have red on this side, and this would be red over here. So I can do R prime U R prime F, and that would insert. From all of that, this would just go here. This would be on the bottom. So then I can bring it up with an R two, and then solve them in the back. And then I'd track this because I probably wouldn't be able to trace where it goes in inspection. So D2 to put that there, and then these two in the back. R prime to bring the corner up. M prime puts the edge there. U R prime F like that, and then I knew this was going to be here with this. So, and I'm looking at this right now, and I know it's going to be here. Pair those in the back like this. B. I saw this was here, and I'm going to pair this edge with this corner, like that. Now, since I uh, here. Uh, right now, I don't know where the green-orange edge is, because it could be either this one or the one on the back. But once I do this, RU, I see it's not this one. So then I know it's this. It has to be this. So then I pair it up like this, orient centers. Peek at the right side, it's just soon, but I have six flips, so I'll do a fat soon. These two. This is the LR edge. Pair them up in the front. This is orange, this is orange, so it is M. Alright, so this is this would be a pretty nice cross for a CFOP solver, I think. I don't know much about crosses, but that's okay. Um we have this pair, which can be solved with this. But then I don't know, the other pair, it's pretty easy to solve, like it's just an R. But then that would mess that up. So I'd also look at blue because I have this pair and this one move pair. So blue, the edge is here. So I'll probably do blue. So D2 would insert this over here and bring this pair to the front. And then I could solve them with R wide prime, B prime. And then since my hand's going to be like this, and this edge is going to move here from the R wide prime, I'm just going to do an F to flip the edge to the bottom and get this corner blue on top. So you'll see what I mean in a second. And then from the, all that, this would move back here, I think. So D2 inserts this, and then this pair in the back like that. And then my hand's right here, right? So I just do F like this and B prime at the same time, like this, and then B prime and F. And then... I put flip this and flip this to the bottom, so R wide F prime to insert, and I knew this was going to be in the back, so I saw this while I was inserting, so flip it out, insert like that, this with this, just easy 2 gen case, these two match, these two are opposite, it's a pi case, it's going to flip these two. There we go, now I see this is the green one, the blue one has to be back there because none of these have blue. 
these two, and from this point, I see I'm going to get this case.